Hello, uh, George from Quick Times. Uh, today we have a 2020 uh, Dodge Sprinter or Mercedes uh, Vans uh, diesel van. Um, these vehicles they don't longer come with the dipstick to check your engine oil level. So what you need to do is uh, after you perform your oil change, uh, uh, get the engine, uh, get the right amount of uh, of uh, oil. Uh, you can put about 12 quarts of oil. Uh, sorry, this thing shut off. Uh, I put 12.5 quarts of oil in it. Get it running. Let let it warm up for, you know, five ten minutes. Make sure you have no leaks. And after you do that, then you start the vehicle again. And uh, you got these controls here. They're kind of funky. Uh, so. What you do is uh, press the home button, and then this thing is kind of touch. You don't have to press it hard in the middle. It just kind of like senses your finger going across. Uh, go down to service, hit the center, and then go down here. Just like I tell you, do the same thing uh, down to engine oil level. Press on it. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Okay, engine oil level. I don't know if you can see that. This thing is showing off my phone. So, well, you get down to um, engine oil level, is what it says. Press enter. And it will, it will display the lines in there. You have to be between the max and minimum. Uh, you're in the center, that's perfect. As long as this thing will tell you if if you're low in oil, low in oil, or you got too much on it. Uh, it shows if it shows low. Make sure that you uh, shut off the vehicle. Add about a quart. Sometimes it will tell you to add a quart in it. Then restart the vehicle and uh, let it warm up again. Uh, this thing will will play tricks on you, saying that the oil level didn't move. Uh, myself, I put uh, I end up putting 14 quarts of oil in it. Uh, you know, some systems they require a little more or less, but make sure that you have this uh, on on that line between the max and minimum. And it'll be that right there is about 14 quarts. And I tell you, sometimes you 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 add two quarts and they don't show up. So uh, shut off, shut off the vehicle, start it again, let it warm up. Sometimes it will say that the vehicle is not level, even if the vehicle didn't move. I think it's just a trickery that they do from from these guys. That way you have to take it to the the dealership. But you know it's always a way around. So make sure it doesn't leak after you run it. Um, and you guys should be okay okay well thank you guys